Hey guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a transparent header in WordPress using Astra. At first, this is how our header is looking like, but we are going to make it sit on top of our first hero section. So to do that, you have to be logged into your WordPress website and then you are going to come to appearance, then you go to customize. Once you are into customize, come over to the header section head straight to transparent header and then boom here you have this option transparent header enable on complete site you can choose that you have the transparent header only enabled on a desktop or only on the mobile device in this case i'll enable it on both devices you can also decide to use a different logo for the transparent header however i'm leaving everything here at default apart from enabling the transparent header okay so we have our transparent header now enabled You'll see now this header move straight into this first hero section and boom, there it goes. Now we have a number of options to choose from, like for example, enable on complete site, disable on 404 or search and archive pages, and then you can disable it on the blog page. The other option is to disable on the pages or disable on the posts. That goes back to what you want to achieve. Now the most important section is down here where there is the option for the colors and the background even when we have our transparent header we can enable a background on that header by clicking here on the background option and we can set a background for our header something like that but now that won't make this a transparent header unless you're going to give it a background and then give it a very small tint something of this sort now i close this over and then I can come over to the site title. Site title is basically going to style up this site title name. Then I just scroll a little bit down, then choose a color for our site title. I'll give it a complete white, okay? And then on hover, I'll leave it at default without any kind of color on hover. So I'll close this over, come over to the menu, and the menu is basically this. So, Let's try now to style up our link text color. I'm going to give it white. And then I'll go straight to the background. I don't need to put a background on our menu. But if you want a background, let me just show you how that will look like. Something like that. Which I wouldn't go in for because I want a transparent menu. So I'll clear this. Then I'll come to the hover option. Once someone clicks on our, our menu, how will the hover look like? In this case, I'm going to select a good highlight color, for example, like yellow. See? So on hover or active link color, our links will look like this. Okay, which I think is a, a good color. So I'll close this over. And then for the submenu, how will our submenus look like? You see when I hover over here, we have submenu items here. At the moment, they are in yellow with a background that is white. So let me first select the background for our submenu items. I'm going to give it a white background, but I give it a very small tint. So something like this. Okay, let me increase a little bit. Something like this. And then we come to the link text. We give it yellow. Okay, will this work? Oh, let me see. Try to move around. Maybe this. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit tricky. Let me move into this other color. Okay, I can also now increase more on our tint. Something like that. Or you can even make it a little bit more. Yeah, this looks better. And then on hover in our sub menu, we can also give it a color. We can maybe say a yellow. So that when we hover over our oh this looks weird um let me give it very different other color and hover maybe this one okay this is better so we just close this over and we are good to go the other part is for the content and this isn't applying to any of our sections in the header it looks like we are done what we need to do is very simple is to hit publish and uh, we are now going to go to our home page in a new tab and we see how that looks like 
Okay, so we have our transparent header, we have our logo, our menu items, and then we also have our drop down, boom, which are the sub menu items. Everything looks nice and neat. Let's look at how this header looks on the mobile device. First on the tablet device. So looks very weird. Maybe we can only enable on the desktop so that on the mobile we only have our normal header. Okay, I think this is better. It's better to have the transparent header on the desktop version and then on the mobile version we leave the default header to appear. Okay, on the tablet device we have this. But when we go to our desktop view, boom, we have our transparent header right here. So guys, that's how you can create a transparent header in WordPress using Astra for free. Thank you so much for watching. Please do all those things like comment, subscribe. It's your life. I'll also be happy to know that you did all those things. And if you have any questions, comments, please drop them down in the comment box below. I'll be happy to read from you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one.